welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you a few hacks and tricks that you can do with a hair dryer. As you can see, I am on an air mattress. It's a tip for one of the hacks. You might have noticed that I changed my username to Miss DIY Girl. I wanted to change it back to crafting and cooking, but apparently uh, YouTube has this rule where you can only change your name three times within 90 days. So I would like to know if you think I should keep uh, keep the Miss DIY Girl or put it back to crafting and cooking. Also, if you have any suggestions for what my username should be, then please tell me. Comment it down below, comment on Instagram, send me Snapchat or just tell me in person. Subscribe to all of my social media, I will put my usernames in the description box below. Like, comment and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's get started. We've all had it that taking off a plaster just hurts so freaking much. So usually we leave it. Don't do that. Just take your hair dryer, put it on a warm heat and blow some air on it. The warmth will melt the glue and you can just remove it pain free. This next hack is to help you blow up an air mattress. All you'll need is your hair dryer, a bottle and some scissors. Start by cutting the label off your bottle. Preferably a 500 milliliter bottle, but I didn't have that, so I just had a one liter bottle. Cut it where you can see that I'm cutting it now, so you can cut the top off. Then place the top of the bottle in the hole of the air mattress and blow, fill it with cold air. There you have it. Here's now some footage of me and my little sister playing on it. Say you're about to write an important letter. You just close the envelope when you realize that you forgot to put something in it. Don't panic. Just use your hair dryer, put it on a high heat and melt the glue that's on the seam of the envelope. Add, it in, add what you missed into the envelope and close it up again. This hack is definitely my favorite. It's how you can make a shoe waterproof really easily and quickly with stuff you probably already have at home. Start by removing your laces if you have them. Then just take one of these tea light candles and cut off the aluminium part. Then stuff your shoe with newspaper or toilet paper or kitchen roll or something. Rub the candle all over the shoe. I have black shoes so you can see the white marks, but on other colored shoes you would probably not see this. If you don't, just don't worry about that. Don't forget the tongue of the shoe. Then just take your hair dryer and blow hot air on it. As you see, the wax will melt, so you can't see it anymore. Repeat this whole process as many times as you want to make sure it's really waterproof. Say you're on holiday, you arrive in a lovely room with your sister just sitting on the bed. You open your suitcase. You find the shirt that you want to wear, but it's really wrinkly. You don't want to wear it like that. So you search everywhere for an iron. But all you find is a hair dryer. Just put your wrinkled shirt on a hanger. Here's a quick bonus hack. If you have slippery clothes hangers, just take elastics or rubber bands or something. Wrap them around your finger 
and then shove them onto the hanger and spread it out. Is another way to do, which is probably easier, just tying it onto the clothes hanger immediately. Anyway, do that four times and then you have a non-slip hanger. Continuing, hang your shirt onto the hanger and then hang the hanger onto something else. Then take a spray bottle, I'm just using this old one, and then spray it all over your shirt. And take your hair dryer, put it on a high heat and put air onto it. Tuck on your shirt while you're doing this so you kind of pull out the wrinkles. As you can see, the wrinkles are clearly less and I have an iron shirt. We all know how annoying it is to peel labels off things. They just tear and it's awful. Just take your hair dryer, put it on high heat and basically melt the glue. Then peel off the label really easily. Remove the leftover glue with some hot water, soap and a scraping or scrubbing tool. 